Welcome to VTech. Continuing further to software quality aspects, so we will see the quality assurance models, a few quality assurance models. The first one ISO 9126, the capability maturity model CMM, STQM total quality management and Six Sigma. ISO 9126, international software quality standards from ISO. So this targets the common understanding between customers and the developers. So this is based on six quality characteristics. So as discussed in the previous video, we do have number of quality characteristics depending upon the type of the project, depending upon the customer and the developer agreements, we will consider a few of the characteristics into picture. So to standardize this, ISO 9126 has considered six quality characteristics. The quality attributes specified are functionality, reliability, efficiency, maintainability, usability and portability. Considering these six quality attributes, the ISO 9126 model is formulated. To implement this ISO 9126, there are certain guidelines specified, quality requirements definition. So prepare a quality SRS based on the six quality attributes. So prepare a good quality SRS, take the appropriate metrics based on functionality, usability, reliability, etc. The, six. the rating level of each of the criteria and define each of the assessment criteria for this. To evaluate this, selected metrics are applied to the software project. For each measured value, a rating level is determined. This Rating levels are summarized and are compared with the other aspects. Final managerial decision whether to accept or reject the product is taken into picture. Six characteristics, metrics for the six characteristics, the assessment criteria for the six characteristics and a comparison whether and take a decision whether to accept or reject. These are the guidelines for uh, ISO 9126. Then comes out to be the capability maturity model CMM. So this is a framework for software development processes. So for a high quality product, the process adapted for the development should be a matured one. So this comes out to be a five level framework, a five level framework developed in 1986 by SEI Software Engineering Institute, where they have formulated certain key process areas to focus at each level. So these are organized by common features and some key practices are there. These practices enable the organization to go to the next level over a period of time. So the structure of CMM could be maturity levels, key process areas are there for each of the level, common characteristics are there, the practices that are being followed at each level. So the maturity level contain the key process areas which are organized by the common features where the practices are being followed, key practices are being followed. So what are these maturity levels? These indicate the process capability. So if it is at level 1 and initial level, so the process is chaotic, more confusing, level 2 a more matured than level 1, level 3 a more matured than level 2, level 4 more matured process than level 3, level 5 the optimized where in which the process itself get improvised. We will see the details in the next slide. The key process areas that we take these achieve the goals, the common features address the implementation and institutionalization, organization wide practices that are to be followed. The key practices describe the activities that are to be taken, uh, carried out at each level so as to move up to the next level. So the maturity levels classified as this, the first level initial, first level initial, second comes out to be repeatable, third comes out to be defined, managed and optimized. So we would have heard about the terms level 5 organizations, level 5 organizations where these level 5 organizations will have a matured process of developing the product, matured process of managing the people, matured process in each and every entity. So to move from level 1 to level 2, level 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, these organizations follow certain activities focusing on certain areas which are called key process areas, KPS, which we have discussed in the previous slide. So at each level, let us see the process capabilities at each level. At one, the process capability it can do nothing. The process is very chaotic, very confusing. Soon after we start an organization, uh, that is how we will be. So very confusing. We will not have a disciplined standard. Second thing, focusing on the process 
will establish a disciplined process of developing the product here. Then this disciplined processes will be standardized. So, we will have a consistent way of developing the product here. We will introduce certain quantified measures so that the, the process is predictable at the fourth level. And then at fifth level 5 where in which the process even will be improved. So, each and every point of time we will see that the development process is improved, continuously improving process. So, that comes out to be the capability maturity model. The next model is STQM soft Software Total Quality Management. Software Total Quality Management, a brief history. So, so it is the organization's culture. So, we will look at the satisfaction attainment through an integrated system of tools, techniques and training. So, the entire organization, everyone in the organization should strive to achieve customer satisfaction. Here, customer satisfaction is termed to be quality here. M, the management where the people and process that are being followed there. So, TQM is defined as quality centered, customer focused, fact based, team driven, senior management led process. So, everyone in the organization is involved to ensure customer satisfaction. So, people in the development, people in the testing, people in the design, people at the management all are involved in the organization to achieve customer satisfaction. So, the elements in TQM, STQM are customer focus, customer satisfaction, continuous process improvement. So, company wide quality culture. So, trainings with respect to quality, every element that we take up in the organization, they will focus on, it focuses on quality aspect. So, continuous improvement in all quality parameters by the goal oriented measurement. So, this measurement analysis, measurement and analysis is taken into picture. So, then comes out to be the another quality model which is worth discussing the Six Sigma. So, initially developed by Motorola. So, they adapted the Six Sigma for manufacturing processes. So, then uh, continuing further this has been adapted to the software development practices even. So, it is a way to achieve strategic business results by emphasizing on lower cost with less number of defects. So, Six Sigma. So, the speciality of this is it ensures less than 3 to 4 defects, less than 3 to 4 defects per million opportunities. So, for 1 million uh, opportunities that we take, so if we follow Six Sigma standard, we can ensure that there will be less than 3 to 4 defects. So, the methodology used is DMEIC, which we will be seeing now. So, this improves the existing business process by constantly reviewing and improving the process. Constant review, revision of the process. So, constantly we will uh, revise the process each time. The DMEIC mechanism, we will see here. Define the opportunities. So, wherever the opportunities are there, the characteristics for the other matter, we will define the opportunities, measure the performance of each of the opportunity or the characteristics, analyze the opportunity, where are the possibilities for improvement and others, improve the performance of the opportunity and then with, there should be a checkpoint to control the activity. So, how would, uh, at what point we can stop improvising or refinement that has to be defined. So, DMAIC define measure, define the opportunities, measure the performance, analyze the opportunity, improve the performance and control the performance. It is not just about statistics, it can be applied to software problems which affects the quality. So, this can be applied to analyze customer requirements and define business goals correspondingly. The approach to customer requirements is fundamentally different from those typically practiced in software deployment efforts. So, when we consider the customer requirements, gathering of customer requirements and analyzing them after deploying the product satisfaction of the customer. So, these two will be different. So, we should understand that difference and Six Sigma considered that aspect. This begins by analyzing what we need to learn, learning opportunities taken into picture. Tools are available to prioritize the functionalities to be delivered. So, to support this Six Sigma, whatever be the functionalities that have to be delivered first to the customer, those can be identified and prioritized. So, with this, we conclude this Six Sigma model. In summary, so the quality assurance models that we have discussed in this video are ISO 9126 considered six parameters, capability maturity model which define the development process in five levels, initial, repeatable, defined, managed and optimized, STQM organization wide quality, total quality management, 
everyone in the organization with customer satisfaction people and process are to be taken into picture six sigma the another model which we have discussed thank you